Hello guys, I know it's been a long time, again, but I'm back for another guy and this time it's the Simeon Flu on Mega Brutal with a perfect score, meaning 5 stars. The Simeon Flu of course based on the very famous movie, Planet of the Apes, and it's special in a way that you have to basically play two games at once, first you have to do the whole thing with the apes and then transmit it to humans, but I'll show you everything step by step and how you can beat it, guaranteed. The strategy is basically very simple. You try to build a foundation, so infecting a lot of apes, then you try to infiltrate pretty much every country we can, so that you have apes all around the world, then you press a red button and transmit it to humans, and that's when shit hits the fan. And you want them to be overwhelmed, just like in the movie. Here's a complete overview of the strategy we're gonna use, it's the foundation for everything, there are some things to tweak, but I will talk about that in the practice part. And very important, those are the symptoms that we can allow to evolve, because the plague really likes to evolve stuff on its own. And those are the things that we can allow, and things that are grayed out, you have to devolve once they get evolved. Okay. So in terms of genes, because Omega Brutal you just need genes, first the metabolic jump. Uh, it will get you a lot of DNA later, I'll show you that. That to get a strong, because we get our DNA mainly out of colonies, or how Caesar put it. Then we now use Aquasite, just to get those damn islands infected, looking at you Greenland. <laughs> then environment, just to get an overall boost, and the iron, iron surge. And that's to dwarf the symptoms that we don't want, and we don't want them to be a deal breaker. So with this, even if we get unlucky and a lot of symptoms evolve that we don't want, we can still beat it and get a 5 star score. It makes the whole thing less dependent on luck. So let's start with the actual playthrough. And in this, the first thing of course, make sure you choose Mega Brutal and giving a fitting name. I go for Harambe. Alright, and then uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off in Central Africa. And that's simply due to the majority of apes living in Africa. So that's where we wanna start, right? And the first thing we're gonna evolve is the Simeon Neurogenesis. Genesis? Okay, that's... Yay, the pronunciation game starts again. I'm gonna use abbreviations this time. <laughs> so now you can switch between the actual infection and the ape infection with this button right here. And as you can see, we start infecting Central Africa. And random mutations like that will happen throughout the game, just check if they are the ones that we will allow or not. Overview is back in the strategy section. So then we get ourselves the ability to form ape colonies, and as soon as we have enough DNA, we place the first one in Central Africa. After that, we want more apes to get infected. And for that we choose Blood Gift, and... <laughs> I'm not gonna pronounce that, don't worry. Into Gene 1 and 2, of course. After that, all you want to do is place three more colonies, and they have to be in Sudan, East and West Africa. Don't place them anywhere else. If you ask why, it's simple. Out of the 65,000 apes that we have on the planet, 75% of them live in those four areas. And the amount of DNA that you get from a colony is based on the amount of apes you have in there. So that's why we choose those four. Again, watch every symptom that evolves, and then we go for Cognitive Shift and Education. This will further boost the amount of DNA that we get out of those colonies. So we've just built some massive DNA farms. You're gonna see that later. The next thing is we wanna spread to other countries and continents. That's why we go for Organized Travel, Logistic and Seafare. That allows our apes to cross the oceans without dying in most cases. <laughs> and what you want to do is pick countries that don't have a colony, and move them in a way that they cross as many countries as possible on their way because they infect every single country that they touch. And you want one to Norway or Sweden to get to Greenland, you want one in Central America and you want one in Indonesia. And for micromanagement like those, I really recommend that you slow down the game. It becomes really difficult if you have the game at max speed. And as soon as they land, you send them to the next island. And you want to be fast about it because the way the game works currently is that as soon as a country gets infected, all apes start become intelligent after some time. But if you start moving a country that has all apes infected already, 
no apes are left and if labs spawn there you have a big problem. But if you move them before all apes are intelligent, some of them remain in the country and get intelligent later, so we have always some apes in every country. Then we place our fifth and last colony in Indonesia, because there are a ton of apes, so ton of DNA for us. And while you keep micromanaging the island infection or spread, you have to evolve the war paint tree, and that's just so that we are more disguised and don't get attacked as frequently and as early. After that, we want to evolve Rampage, and that's just so we can fight the labs as soon as they pop up. And then we're pretty much settled. Now we evolve Cold 1, Cold 2, Met 1, Met 2, Genetic Hardening 1 and 2, and that takes some time, don't worry, it, it easily costs around 300 DNA, so that's gonna take a while. But after you have done all of that, the next thing is gonna be priceless, because this thing here is just like a red nuke button. And usually, you're not allowed to press those buttons. But in this case, as soon as you've nuffed DNA, Batista bombed that thing and immediately paused the game. You can't click as fast <laughs> as those bubbles will pop up. So what happens here is basically every single country that we have apes present get infected. So we basically infect the whole world, just like that. But with the collected DNA, what you want to do is buy Air 1, Air 2, Water 1, Water 2 and Extreme Biorehearsal. That's so we can increase the infectivity inside those countries and spread to nearby islands if some don't have the flu already. And what happens now or already happened is that labs pop up and you have to destroy them immediately. They are a huge threat, so always keep an eye on the map and destroy them as soon as you see them. Then also do a bit of micromanagement, check if some islands don't have the infection currently and if so, just send some apes over to infect those. Another thing that can occur now is that drones will pop up and if they do near a colony, you have to move the colony, otherwise it gets destroyed. Other than that, all we have to do now is to wait. There is always this one country that gets infected last and takes the longest. Usually it's Greenland, Iceland or whatever. Find it and check how far the infection rate goes currently. And while you can start killing people or just let it evolve on its own, don't get it too lethal. You don't want it to kill more people than it infects. Only start killing people rapidly when the infection rate in the last remaining country is over 50% and then get it lethal. I personally like coma because it decreases the cure progression, but whatever you feel like, just kill the world as fast as possible and save some DNA points for the end. Because in the end we want to use genetic reshuffle 1, 2 and 3 to crush the cure and get a better score. And there you go. That's the simian flu on Mega Brutal with a 5 star rating. Just like that. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, I would really appreciate it. It was a ton of work to make, it was probably the biggest guide in Plague Inc. I did till now. Tell me in the comment section how it went, or if you have questions also, I'm gonna answer them. And if you wanna see more, of course, sub to the channel. And see you on the next one. Take care.